What's up everybody? Check this out. So I'm driving through southern Illinois. This is probably about a month and a half ago. And I wanted to I wanted to make a video about this. I don't know, it just it just stuck with me. And I travel on business a little bit, so I'm driving and I'm coming into Effingham, Illinois. And um, it's about, I don't know, probably eight, nine o'clock at night. It's dark. And uh, I'm like three or four miles away from the actual town. I'm on the highway. And um, I see this like beacon almost in off in the distance. It's a really bright white beacon. And um, I mean, that was the best thing I could describe it as, right? So I get closer and closer and I start to kind of make it out. And I'm thinking to myself, no way. And uh, I find out, or I come ac across it, and it's a cross. Now, it's a massive metal structure. At first, I thought it was a water tower, like a, you know, shaped as a cross, something crazy like that. I thought maybe it was a very religious um, town. So, I had to stay there and, and go somewhere else on business the next day. So, I start asking around, and I find out, I, I come across this pamphlet. The cross at the crossroads. Now, check that out, man. I mean, look at the scale of this thing. These are the trees that are the closest thing to it. And um, there's a whole display, supposed to be a whole display thing there at the bottom, like an interactive display. And um, there's also uh, an almost 4,000 square foot chapel welcome center for people to come in and pray and meditate and just look at the cross. Um, apparently there's, there's a guy from Texas who started this foundation, the Cross Foundation, or he's the one building these things. He's going to a lot of major like thoroughfare crossroads in the country to get a lot of traffic um, and he's building these things. So this uh, monstrosity is 198 feet tall, 19 stories. Um, and uh, the way they describe it is, here's, the, here's a small description I had to read. For 2,000 years, the cross has been the most recognized symbol of faith, of the Christian faith. No symbol more clearly speaks of God's love, forgiveness, and salvation, if only used by civic, religious, and commercial organizations. The cross represents the human qualities of honesty and decency and forever stands as an emblem of hope. Well, I emphatically disagree with that statement, those statements. Um, and apparently, all of the money that comes in from this um, is donated from other people. It's all tax-free money to build. Um, and here's the kicker here's the thing that stuck with me not only did he build this this monster and he's going to build more the idea is to have it lit 24 7 seven days a week 365 days a year always lit as a symbol of God's love and peace and and what have you I find that to be a ridiculous and monumental waste of resources. Basically, people are being coerced because of their faith in religion and they're out of their money to light a massive piece of, a massive hunk of metal that's supposed to be a symbol for their God and His love. And I say that's garbage. Um, I, I think it's ridiculous. He's also got DVDs and, and VHSs and th other, th other things that he's selling um, regarding the projects and, and the Cross Foundation. It's, it's, I, I, I think it's ridiculous. Um, but what I'd like to, to know is if anybody else has seen these as well and what your thoughts are, of course. Um, uh, it's just uh, it's a monstrosity and I think it's a huge waste of resources so if you've seen these or know anything about them feel free to drop me a comment or let me know I'd, I'd be interested to find out so all right take care everybody